So here's a nice specimen showing the vessels coming off the caudal end of the aorta. So we see the external iliac coming down. It's going to give off the deep femoral. The deep femoral gives off the pudendoepigastric trunk. Off of the pudendoepigastric trunk is going to be the caudal epigastric and the external pudendal. External pudendal is going to go down through the inguinal canal. And then it's going to continue up here as the medial circumflex femoral artery. And then, of course, this here continuing on down to the limb is the femoral artery. From our internal iliac artery, we're going to have the caudal gluteal come off. The caudal gluteal is going to give off the cranial gluteal. Here we ha see the obturator artery off the, the caudal gluteal coursing with the obturator nerve down through the obturator foramen. We see the internal pudendal now. Remember when that caudal gluteal comes off, the internal iliac becomes the internal pudendal. We have the umbilical, which now is just the round ligament of the bladder, going over here to the bladder. And the bull and the cow, this initial portion of the umbilical, which is going to come off the internal iliac, is going to remain patent because in the cow, that's going to give off the primary uterine artery, in the bull, the deferential artery. But here we see that it's not patent in this specimen. Okay, so this then is our internal pudendal. It's going to give off the prostatic or in the female, the vaginal. Okay.